Now we know that uh, we have uh, this PWM signal, uh, which uh, I would like to uh, change. I would like to, for example, change the frequency and uh, the duty cycle, as I as I stated previously. Uh, but I uh, I know that this is actually hardware driven, so I need to have a direct access to the registers. So I already listed. I will show you in my presentation. I already already listed how to find uh, the address of the registers in the reference manual. You will need to go to this table and specify the timer one. Uh, because uh, the PWM signal is generated by timer one, you need to select this address and of course the offset of uh, the register that is uh, defining duty cycle or the frequency. So in this case, outer load register specifies uh, the period of the signal and the capture compare register specifies the duty cycle. And we can see that it is offset 34 and for the frequency is 2C. So I will need this number plus this number. So it's okay to see. So we will need to put it into the variables. And because we will be writing, we will need to select this part where the probe is probe out. <coughs> so there is a possibility adding a custom variable so we just hit the uh, add and we can add uh, time timer one auto load register and i remember hopefully i remember for the address is four 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 zero zero one zero uh zero two C. And we know the register is 32 bit unsigned, so let's un select unsigned 32 bit. Hopefully, I didn't make a mistake. Let's see. So it's 2C. Yeah, 2C is auto reload register. I will also add the capture compare register 34. Okay, so it's a custom variable. Time one CCR capture compare register one and this zero x four zero zero one zero zero thirty-four right mm -hmm. so okay let's select the downside thirty-two bit because we're accessing thirty-two bit register and if we hit done it should be also propagated into the panel so if I hit deploy it seems it was successfully deployed we can go to dashboard and in the dashboard we should if we start the acquisition we should see the registers values you see this is nice because we have a direct access to the registers so if I let's hide these because uh, the values are a little bit higher than uh, the software then the, the software counter and 0 and 3.3 volts that we are measuring. So let's hide them and let's change the frequency and due the cycle of the timer of the PWM signal. So uh, into the outer load register, I will put, put there, I don't know, 500. And if I want, for example, uh, 50% duty cycle, I'll put a 250, so right, and you can see we have a PWM of 50% duty cycle. We can change the duty cycle, putting there 100, so in this case it will be 20% uh, duty cycle, and the pulse is much, um, much shorter. We can, of course, increase the frequency by setting uh, the auto reload register to 250 to twice twice the frequency. Let's write. So we have twice the frequency, and let's, for example, yeah, zero zero the soft counter, which is again 
which is, which is uh, the software counter which increases each time when the period elapses of the PWM. It is actually interrupt driven, but it's, it is inside the code.